China has ambitions to put up three times as many satellites in orbit to outnumber Starlink. So the short answer, there's nothing to prevent India, China, Russia, or any other country from putting up these mega constellations of satellites in low Earth orbit. We have this joke that we say in the space community, what's the fastest way to become millionaire in the space launch industry? Start off as a billionaire. Dr. John Klein is a senior fellow at Falcon Research Inc. and also an adjunct professor at the George Washington University's Space Policy Institute and Georgetown University's Strategic Studies Program. He's also the author of Understanding the Space Strategy, The Art of War in Space, Space Warfare, Strategy, Principles and Policy, and now most recently, A Fight for the Final Frontier, Irregular Warfare in Space which came out in 2023. Dr. Klein served for 22 years as a naval flight officer. He supported combat operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. SpaceX, Blue Origin, United Launch Alliance, Rocket Lab, they're moving so fast. We're just seeing this breathtaking capabilities advancing rapidly when it comes to reusable launch capabilities. Some folks foresee a trillion dollar space economy in the next few years, that is significant. It just continues to grow, especially when we look out from the moon and Mars. The other key piece is the role of geospatial imaging, geointelligence, which was traditionally considered the domain of the governments. How has that evolved? When the U.S. did the special operations raid to find Osama bin Laden, one of the things that they reported was they were able to take the compound and then peel it back like layers of an onion to see how it was built. India-Pakistan standoff context, what have been the critical pieces that have given one country an edge over the other because of certain space-based capabilities. What you've seen recently is more open source reporting. Maxar, I remember looking at the pictures of the Russian tanks all lined up on a road prior to going in. It's like that same image 20 years ago would have been classified you would never have seen. It. If you need to do precision strikes, a key component of it is the GPS piece. It is owned by the US Space Force. Does everyone need to build out similar capabilities in case tomorrow they are denied GPS or if their GPS gets jammed? What do you see as the key strengths that today India has managed to exhibit? If the metric is to get to that top tier of the Space Power Club, the human spaceflight element will be key. India is on the cusp, and they've had some remarkable achievements when it goes to lunar exploration and what they've been doing in recent years. After many decades, one of the Indian astronauts is part of the Axiom 4 mission to the International Space Station. How significant do you think that is? I always find uh, India's geopolitics fascinating. I can't wait to see what India does next.